Hello everyone and welcome to the rising star of the game as we are about to see the two teams of the standings of this game. We have the all-star coming up after the game of the rising star. It will be the double header here for tonight as we will about to be doing one of the best plays that we have never seen here before. We have is Kate Cunningham, Josh Giddy, France Wagner, Scotty Barnes, and Evan Mobley. And on the other side, we have is Lamella Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, Desmond Bain, Anthony Edwards, and Sadiq Bay. These are going to be all the rookie players that have played for the first time since after the draft here, first and second round pick before the season started. And now, it's time to bring you over to the first to check out in Cleveland, Ohio, as we're about to do things on and on. Let's get started for the game. Enjoy the show, team, and let's take you over to the commentators on the line. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks, for this midweek NBA action on 2K Sports. It's the USA facing Team World. Since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star Game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fame. Looking at the starting five for USA, we've got Cunningham. Wagner is out there with Barnes. And there's Mobley. And it's Giddy in at the two spot. Shot clock at five. Offensive rebound, Mobley. Oh, that's blocked. Outside ball. It's not gonna go for him. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for USA. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Weekend. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Here's Giddy. First quarter just over a minute played. Baseline J on the way. Cunningham's shot is off. And scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. And there's the pass to Bay. And the floater. Yep, it counts. And we haven't seen very much of him in the regular season yet. But there's no question he's got a very bright future ahead of him. I agree with all of that. Even with limited playing time, his talent has been evident. And that talent is strong enough to have earned him a spot in this game. And that says a lot considering he doesn't play a bunch for his team. And, and it's just something about the rising star's challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Now, here's Halliburton. Team World needs to get off a shot. Let's it go from 11. Edwards can't hit. Here is Cunningham. Barnes outside. I'll miss that time. Would have put him up. You brought the big stage. These young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. And out of bounds is Team World gains possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And, and making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Now ball. Pass to Bane. Halliburton outside. We've got a collection of the greatest players 
in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. Team World shooting their first free throws of the evening. One falls for it. Hey guys, before I uh, move on, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can check out the other videos that I've done on the All Stars and some NBA regular seasons here of five, four, or one, two, or three. Everything you'd like to call it. He's perfect from the line this time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Kitty, the pass to Cunningham. Here's Mobley. Misses off the left iron. A lot of great plays being made here on the defensive end. That indeed is a rarity. The highlights are almost always on the offensive end of the floor in this event. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that you call. And that one's good, Barnes. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And now the first time I've called here for Team World. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this time out, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. And let's not forget about the um, some best uh, some best plays out there. I also have a new TV screen here on the board. Yeah, the Vizio, the Vizio one is already in my room. You guys are not going to know what just happened because we have a new bigger TV, and it's a bigger size TV that we can all watch on. Yeah, how fantastic is that? It's very cool. I really like it. Definitely nothing to say about that, but that's a great TV size that we want. In the meantime, Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. And I will see you all here for the next game for Team LeBron and the other team, Durant or Joel. Not sure what it's going to be, but we'll find out. And it's Anthony with the ball for Team Work. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That's his first foul. Second team foul. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, big shot on the way. Team World with another miss. Now USA with it. And the layup falls. Once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, this should be showing a lot more energy on the inside. He's not there. It's stolen by Jones, and now it's Green running. He can go all the way. It's hauled in by Stewart. Takes it inside. They get the rebound. Anthony, the pass to Tate. Now, here's Maxi. Just five to shoot. Another shot, and he lays it up and in. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. 25 left here in the opening quarter. To the middle. Here's Shangoon. One up, one down. Two points with this first shot this game. You know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. Anthony, the pass to Stewart. And here's Maxi. Over Suggs. Maxi, no good. Green with the ball. Under now by Okoro. Green, the pass to Shengu. Rebound by Team World. Here's Maxi. Trains the three-pointer. Maxi's got five. And he likes 
likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Now, here's Sun. Guarded closer. And a little off that side, but it drops. 30 seconds left to play here in the first. Pass to Okoro. Here's Max. And here's Anthony from the arc. And Team World is another three. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now, here's Stewart. Here's Max. And oh, it's the buzzer beater. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Team World leads by four. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. Flight on the fouls in terms of what's being called tonight. And, and that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. On the court for USA, they've got Jones. Suggs out there with Mitch, and it's Duarte in at the small four. USA trails by four. Mitchell left side. Passes it to Shengu. Over Anthony. Shoots it up. Shengu with the bucket. Oh, boy. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Now, here's Jake. No points in the game yet for him. And he drops it in from the low post. Jake's only got the lead back up to four now for Team World. Now the pass to Jones. USA moving the ball around. Here's Duarte. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good. A big group substitution here for Team World. Bay is checked in for Jayshon Tate. Edwards comes in for Okoro. Halliburton's checked in for Maxi, And Ball subbed in for Cole Anthony. Listen, there aren't any uh, paddlings in Guilford this year, so you, uh, just do what you want. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. But listen, you don't have to choose anything. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for Team War. Pass to Halliburton. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Ball finds Halliburton. Here's Achua. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on. Ball against Mitchell. And it's Ball penetrating to count it good. Ball's got the lead up to 4 now for Team World. Here's Duarte, Edwards defending. Duarte passes to Barnes. Mitchell outside. Pass to Duarte. Five on the clock. And that one's good, Wagner. 
Five shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the bucket by USA, Paul Barnes grabs the miss. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. And the fast break now for Team World. It's tipped. Here's Achua. Tries again. He takes it up and brings it in. Achua's got his first points of the night. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Team World. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, with a lot of pressure on the ball handlers, and force eternal. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn it from the line, and that's what you want to see. Two shots. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the first one, this is in Wayne's jacket in for a two. And you have already seen the uh, in Anime Sandy Invitational of Episode 7. Calling card is up there. Next episode will release on March somewhere, if it's before or after. Halliburton hits a goal. Uh, the halfway mark of March Madness game. So it's USA now. Four point game. That's Hopefully it might be on April. That's what I'm thinking of because that's where it began. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And it's Team World with the ball. Edwards kicks to Halliburton. Back to Edwards. Halliburton outside. There's Paul with the three. It drops for a second main shot in this game. And unimpressive two of seven though. Well, I like the fact that this is something Ball continues to work on, that deep side of his. He knows he's got to be a threat from deep to expand his game. Here's Giddy. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Barnes. He hits the back iron and sets the shot. And that's a nice possession. Did a good job to get that open shot. Right wing. Bain passes the ball. Fires the three. And Team World another three. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Giddy the pass to Wagner. Down low. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. The pass to Halliburton. Here's Bain. He's defended by Wagner. Here's Edwards. That one, no good. So USA will take it the other way. He lobs up the alley of pass. And Mookley throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley? -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember. They can put together a little surge to break this game open. And Team World calls time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. We're almost done with the first half. Once this play is over, there'll be some summary here to see with a daily of this recap. First and second period. Then the second half will resume after the halftime show. A big group substitution here for Team World. Stewart's checked in for Bay. Jay Shanti comes in for Edwards. Axie's checked in for Halliburton. And Anthony's subbed in for Ball. Jones checked in for USA. Green comes in for Pug. Here's Green. 51 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Out to the wing. Here's Giddy. 
They grab their own miss. Mobley. A shot off that time. Team World leading by six. Pass to Bain. At the Tate. Now, here's Stewart. T right on him. Stolen. Here's Giddy. Guarded by Stewart. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. USA shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Jones. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And here is it. We're going to change here. Almost done, folks. You're coming up by four if he makes the second one. If he doesn't, it will be down, up by five for Team World. And Team USA trying to pick it up. And so Jones nails both of them. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. I got First personal foul, second team foul. Team World shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Anthony taking two shots. One falls. Second free throw, no good. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? Team World out in front, up by five. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, here's the first half. Team World and Team USA. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. They were really efficient, great approach offensively, their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to beat the teams. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they've been so far. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for joining folks. us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Let's we'll send you back to the court. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. Welcome back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So Team World's five right now. We've got Sadiq Bay. Lamelo Ball is out there with Hellebert. Then there's Edwards. And it's Bain in at the three spot. Here's Cunningham. Following the score by Tyrese Halliburton. It's over Bay. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. 
Halliburton kicks to Bay. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. Scotty Barnes picks one up. Clearly to the foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned Five. those free throws. Team World shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts in the game right here. And he makes the first. Stick around later. We can do the, uh, the another NHL 22. And we'll give you this one another season with a couple more games left. So he makes both from the line. New skit coming soon. And the minute right as the you. second half gets going. Now, here's Cunningham. He's covered by Ball. And Sadiq Bey picks up the foul. First, that is his first foul of the game. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Here's Cunningham. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And that one's good, Wagner. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Edwards kicks to Bay. And it's ball in the corner. Back to Bay. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, the are all over now. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you gotta play without foul. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Real good from Bay. And so he's able to get one of two. USA trails by seven to the right side. Now, here's Wagner. He's tightly guarded. Here's Barnes. Bay pulls it in. Bay's got his fourth rebound in this one. Picked his pocket. Running in, rubbing it over. Caliber with the steal. Here's Ball. He takes it in, and the layup is good. Ball's got the lead up to nine now for Team World. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Cunningham to the paint. And Giddy gets it to him. Giddy. Giddy's got his second basket of the game. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Halliburton outside. Pass to Bain. Back to Halliburton. Here's Edwards. No oh, good on the shot. Good D by Barnes. He dishes it to Cunningham. Passes it to Giddy. Takes the 13 footer. No oh, good off the back of the rim. And so Edwards will bring it up for Team Warp. Bay finds Edwards. Back to Bay. Good ball movement here by Team World. The pass to Edwards. It's rebounded by Giddy. USA trails by seven. 
Out to the right wing. Cunningham with it. Inside. Here's Barnes. Rebound by Team World. Bayes got rebound number five here tonight. Halliburton passes to Bay. Here's Bain. Halliburton for three. Nailed from three-point land. Halliburton's got seven. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instincts. Just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. So, timeout call here. The first for USA. to the postseason of the NBA, but I hope you all enjoyed the uh, short conference of this tournament of the Marlboro of Central Regional, and yeah, that was going to be my prediction. I thought it's going to be in between Point Burrow and Central Regional. What I would like to see is Central Regional face against Marlboro Mustangs. They already have done it in football, but now they have already chose them playing basketball of the game. It's a very tough call, but I, I was never seeing that beyond. On my heart, never really had it all. This is a great game. Shengu passes towards A. Here's Shengu, guarded by Stewart. Pass towards A, moves back up. That is good off the back rim and in. There you go again, a nice kick out after the knee had collapsed on. Team World leading by eight. Pass to Stewart. And here is a Coro. Here's Maxi. A shot. No good. So USA will take it the other way. Here's Duarte. Taken away by Anthony. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul, 13 foul. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Team World. Now defensively, they play with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. First free throw is good. And thank you for all for watching for the uh, Winter Olympics. It's already finished, folks. All done for now. Until next couple of years. And that's good as he hits both of the shots. The next four years of Winter Olympics. 133 left here in the third quarter. No soon move, the pass to Jones. Here's Duarte. Now Suggs. Pass Duarte. Six on the shot clock. 20 feet out. No soon move, shot is off. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Back to Anthony. And here's Stewart. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. No sooner move the pass to Suggs. Not enough on that one as it misses. Team World leading by 10. Here's Maxi. The offensive rebound, Stewart. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Stewart's got his first two points of the night. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. 
and the basket by Joe. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Man, this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Outside Anthony. Now, here's Stewart. Cuts off the pass. And so it's Team World going into the break with a 10 point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. One more quarter to go. We'll be right back. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in the point guard. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. On the court for USA, you've got Green. Suggs out there with pitch. Then it's Jones. And it's Shengun in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here's a chewer. And there's the try. And slam dunk by Maxi. Just walking it in their faces with that now. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off of him. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Here's Jones following the bucket by Team World. Outside, Green. Six to shoot. Here's Sucks. Offline from the top of the key. Team World leading by 10. Stewart kicks to Anthony. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Back to Stewart. In the corner, Tate with it. Over Green. And it's Suggs with the rebound. You know, even though they're on top of this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Now, here's Green. Driving to the basket. Yeah, the defender all over his. He got it good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. First team foul. Shooting for USA. Jalen Green at the line for two. Free throw for three. Substitution on the court. Three changes on the court. Cunningham, Green, Wagner, Barnes, and Mobley. And then the other five players will be up here. And he makes both free throws. Ball with it. The pass to Edwards. Back to ball. Good ball movement here by Team World. Edwards can't hit. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falls off. And you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now, here's Halliburton. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. First, it'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, well, man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the chart. And Halliburton turns it in. The man just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. 
They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Cunningham. Here's Mobley. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for USA. Evan Mobley. Taking two shots. And the first one is the line is good. And USA making a change here. And so he hits both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Oh, here's Edwards. Here he goes. And Edwards with the stop. You know, confidence feeds on himself. And the more experience Edwards gets, I think the more confidence he'll continue to gain, especially operating in these pick and roll sets. USA trails by 10. Here's Giddy, and he drops in the way up off the glass. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Team Work. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Bay finds Edwards. Now, here's Ball. Here's Bay driving in. It's rebounded by Giddy. So it's USA now. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Nobody near Barnes. Offline with his three. Team World leading by eight. And it's Ball that time on the assist from Edward. Well, he's an incredible ball handler at 6'7. Lamelo can get space for a shot practically anytime he wants to. Barnes against Edwards. Barnes, left side, Wagner, bullseye. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Pass to Bay. Quarter two minutes here, folks. Almost done. Pass to Bay. Back to Bay. Fires for three. It's hauled in by USA. Barnes looking around. Looking to get it going. And the tough by Barnes. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even at a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the bucket by USA. Edwards can't hit. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. Wagner kicks to Barnes. With the drive. The rebound by Halliburton. On offense, here's Team World. Six-point lead. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, I love the way Ball drives with such force and speed. It puts the defense in a tough situation. He's excellent at drawing foul. Come on for two. And a tough break as a second attempt at the line. No good. And not as productive a trip as you would like, but they're still in a pretty comfortable position. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. This lost sense of time and the situation. And Team World calls time here. They're leading by seven. There's 47 seconds left in the game. 
Coming up will be the real how all-star game of Team LeBron and a Team Durant. If there is any changes out there, and we might gonna have some a uh, little bit to change off in between the players of Joel Embiid and of course Team Kevin Durant. We're not sure what's gonna happen at that point, but we might see what's going on. If there's any choice here for the Rising Star Cruise to come move up to the real All-Star Games. So, we're going to see how well they can do, and there may not be anything going on too much. Let's present the New Balance Player of the Game. And now, the moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game to LaMelo Ball. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside the knee, he's just been a slasher tonight, always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans want more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. The USA calls time here. They trail by seven. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. guys have one timeout left. That is 47 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. On offense, here's Team World. They've held a 12-point lead early. Here's Bain, pass it to Okoro. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. Scotty Barnes picks one out. 13. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was out. Taking two shots. One shot to go. So he gets them both, and it's a nine-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. And there's the pass to Cunningham. Here's Wagner. Offensive rebound. And the shot is long. Now Anthony dishes it to Okoro. Back to Anthony. So we see Team World get the win here. I can't say enough about how well all these young men Tonight, a great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Greg, no doubt there are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight. We're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone. Thank you all for watching the rising stars of the NBA here for the All-Star Game at the first part of the season. Now stay tuned, coming up next we have is the real All-Star game, Team LeBron and Team Durant. Unless there's any changes here going on. Let's have your three stars of the game. For this box score, we have is LaMelo Ball. Really turning out to be one particular motion here. Ten points in this game. Really had a lot of great steel out here. Just too much to configure or comply. Really not at all. No blocks made, but it's very hard how it just turns out. Number two on the other side we have is the best one that it took out the block we got is Mobley. Well, just a perfect block shot here from this angle. Four points already, five rebounds, one assist, that's just it. And for the one last star, uh, number one, top and the bottom is Scotty Barnes. Pretty sure that Scotty Barnes really had that good dunk performance out there. Two assists, two, eight rebounds, and eight points. Thank you for watching the first part of this game. Peace out, everyone, for as a while as the rising star dial. And I will see you all later for the next game as we will reset and get ready for the second part of the game. See you all guys later after this. Somebody with the